In this walkthrough, we're going to look very quickly at how we can expose a local or private Kubernetes cluster using its ingress controller to the internet. The way we'll do that is we'll run a TCP tunnel server on a VM with a public ITP address and then connect that with an inlet's client running CIDR Kubernetes. Now there's a tutorial uh, that we can follow for this and quite simply um, we start off with a, uh, an explanation of how this operator for Kubernetes would work. Um, there's a custom resource, there's a, an operator deployment, we go and perhaps create Ingress Nginx, expose it as a service which is then detected, a custom resource is created for that service and then a VM will be created somewhere on a public cloud for which a client pod is created and a tunnel is established and then we're able to make HTTPS requests to that. That's the basic idea. Now you can do all of this um, manually and I would recommend doing that the first time you use Inlet so you can understand the building blocks. But you can also do it completely automated and when I was in a coffee shop um, a few weeks ago back in June, I managed to get this uh, all completed in about 30 seconds on my laptop. Now I have already created a Hetzner Cloud account. You can use other clouds if you wish. And I'm going to show you the API token here. And I don't mind because by the time you see this video, the token will no longer be valid. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. I'm going to save it into a file and then I'm going to refer to the blog post on how to install the operator. So first of all, we need a namespace um, called inlets. We need uh, the, the access token as a secret. In this case, I already created it earlier, but I'm going to delete it. And create it again. We also have a secret for the license for inlets that you can get hold of uh, via Gumroad. And then I've picked uh, EU Central, which is Helsinki. There is a US region as well. This is where the VMs will be created. Okay, and then we'll have a look at our logs here. And we will follow along with that. We're also going to get our tunnels and watch them. we don't actually have any yet and next of all I'm going to uh, just perhaps restart the controller because I think we have it from earlier okay so there it is in the inlet's namespace When I was recording this, I used a read-only token by accident. And this is how effectively the um, the services are being, the VMs are being created by using a, an access token. Now I'm going to install Ingress Nginx. You could install traffic, you could install um, Istio as a gateway, completely up to you. Now we can see the provision call came in here, it took one second on Hetzner's API, and that was at 1439.41. We've got the tunnel custom resource here. Um, it's currently in a provisioning state. And I'm gonna put a watch on the service as well. And we see the IP is pending. Now, as I say, last time I ran this was about 30 seconds. I don't know exactly what we're going to get this time. So there it is. So what are we looking at? 20, maybe 37 seconds. And we have the public IP address now, um, both on the tunnel and on the service. So if you're going to use something like uh, the external DNS project to automatically create DNS records, you can do that because the IP has been inserted into Kubernetes and we've got a not found. And now this is exactly what we want. 
So well, what do you mean not found? Doesn't that mean it's broken? No, we've got no ingress records yet, but the traffic is going to an ingress controller. Therefore, it's now up to you to create ingress records for whatever you want. Um, and if you need, let's say, um, TLS from Let's Encrypt, you can install um, Cert Manager with Arcade, or you could install it um, using their docs and Helm. So this blog post really is pretty simple. And at the end, it shows you how to, to delete the tunnel and see it get recreated. Or you could delete the service and that will deprovision the VM permanently. Now, if we look back on Hetzner, we can see the server created two minutes ago. We can see the IP address of it there. Here's our service. Well, we can go and delete that. Okay, and then at the top, we can see if the logs that it deleted the VM. And the VM is gone in the Hetzner. So just um, for people that are worried about me showing you an API token, I'm actually going to delete that now. So that is gone. Don't worry about that. Um, and we're done. So in a very short period of time, we went from not having um, public IP address whatsoever, not being able to expose any websites to then having a fully functional ingress controller on port 80 and 443. This also will work with Istio um, and any other kind of TCP traffic you want to expose, whether that's SSH, MongoDB, um, whatever you can come up with. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to reach out via the website and just give it a try. Sign up for a personal license um, that entitles you to run a couple of tunnels. You would only need one per cluster because you can route 1,000 or 10,000 websites through one tunnel using Ingress Controller. That's the point of, of Ingress and one of the things that makes it such a strength in Kubernetes. The other thing to just keep in mind is that you want to create DNS records. And when you create those, just like on a public cluster, create an A or a C name record to the IP that got assigned for your tunnel. All right, well, looking forward to hearing from you.